Hi, I'm Aniki Nippon. Today's user of the day is Mr. Soprano. He's a funny guy, and I encourage you to watch his video, especially the one on Coughlin666. His quote is, Why so doucheous? And I hope you enjoy some of his videos. And today's subject is on these people that claim that they can reclaim your sovereignty. The people on the internet that are almost like the Alex Jones types that believe in, you know, like, certain political views, which is fine. I have no problem with that. But when they try to talk about law and justice, they have no clue what they're talking about. One example is David, David Wayne Miller, as he calls himself. I don't know if that's his real name. I have no reason to doubt that's what his real name is. But he calls it himself an unchallenged or undefeated judge. And there hasn't been a single case that I've been able to look up that this person actually won a court case or been in a court himself. But the claims that some people that try to use his language failed is undefeated. The problem with him is that as far as I know, he's not a, he does not have a Juris Doctrine and he is not a practicing lawyer by any state bar. He claims that he doesn't need to because he's a quote-unquote sovereign citizen. He claims that he doesn't need to go through all these processes of legal justification because he perfected language and so on. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, people that claim that they can go against the government because that's something that's desirable, people that claim that they know how to fight the system because it's desirable, and know how to get to them legally because it's desirable does not make it true. And these kind of people that make these extraordinary claims tend to have warnings at the beginning of their videos saying, oh, please don't sue us, this is only for information purposes. So needless to say, they can use their freedom of speech and they can also use their warnings in a legal system that does actually exist to protect themselves. But my question is, if they have so much security in their own legal theories, why don't they use their own legal theories to their advantage? Why don't they use them in the warnings in the beginnings of the videos to protect themselves? Or maybe perhaps they feel that they don't need them in the beginning on certain videos because, ha, huh, well, they can defend themselves in any court. The problem is, ladies and gentlemen, None of these people are really lawyers, really judges, and they are claiming something else than they actually are. And this is a very, very dangerous insinuation, and I recommend that these people and you, if you ever got caught with a crime, or are convicted of crime, or, you know, got a ticket, and so on, that you go to an attorney. You go to the judge, and you go through the legal proceedings, and not to some guy on the street that's going to tell you what they know about sovereignty and what they don't. This is a very dangerous form of legal proceedings because it's not real. It doesn't exist. And although it might sound attractive to you guys, these hippies that think that they can defend themselves in courts sorely lose. And I have video of it. And I'm going to provide links below to all the people that I found on the internet. Uh, not necessarily all of them, but, you know, a, a good portion of these people that believe in these legal theories of sovereignty uh, to that practice these sort of things. And I'm going to be providing links to them. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe.